When you get to do the front-end part of your project, you are often faced with a tough choice. And that choice is picking the right framework. Angular and React are usually the top picks in this scenario. But when should you choose Angular and when is it better to pick React? What are the key differences between them? And what are the career opportunities for React and Angular developers? My name is Daniel and in this video we will take a close look at Angular vs React and compare them. Also, I will dive into their key features and advantages. Break down the main differences between them, discover when it's best to use Angular or React, and talk about many other things. And guys, if you want to learn more about these technologies, I left some useful links in the description down below. Ready? Let's go! What are Angular and React good for? Alright, but first of all, let's cover the basics, guys. What is the initial purpose of Angular and React? Angular. Folks, before we even start talking about Angular, I would like to note that it's important not to confuse Angular with AngularJS. The difference matters because in 2022, Google pulled the plug on support for AngularJS. Currently, when people mention Angular 2, they mean all the versions of Angular that came after AngularJS. So, Angular is a powered open-source web application framework based on TypeScript, backed by the Angular team at Google and the dev community. There are many things that Angular is very good at. Building single-page applications, dynamic forms, Angular offers a powerful set of features including support for reactive forms and validation, advanced routing. Angular's router simplifies the creation of complex routing patterns like nested routers and lazy loads. Effortless API interaction, Angular's dependency injection architecture and built-in HTTP client streamline the process of connecting to APIs and other backend services. Real-time functionality. Angular makes it easy to incorporate real-time technologies such as web sockets. In other words, Angular stands out as a robust and future-rich framework, especially when you are working on complex and scalable web applications. So, as you can see, guys, there is a good reason why it's one of the most popular web frameworks today. But, folks, I have to say that React doesn't lag behind. React React is a brainchild of meta developers. It's a JavaScript library perfect for crafting user interfaces. Launched back in May 2013, React has been improved and refined by community of developers and corporations ever since. React stands out in various domains. Single-page apps Just like Angular, React is a good choice for crafting single-page apps. Reusable components Thanks to its component-based structure, React empowers you to create reusable UI components. Efficient UI updates React's magic lies in its ability to refresh only the changed parts of the DOM, which helps avoiding performance issues. Adaptability React is flexible, allowing smooth interactions with third-party frameworks and APIs. React is a powerhouse that simplifies the creation of responsive, interactive frontends, making your development process smooth and efficient. Alright, now that you know about the strengths of Angular and React, let's compare their differences. Key differences of Angular vs React Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. You know, folks, some people say that Angular and React are impossible to compare, because Angular is more like robust toolkit made with TypeScript, and React is a versatile library crafted with JSX. Add several extra libraries to React, and you can transform it into a full-fledged framework. The way React library operates and its workflow is still very different from Angular framework. That makes direct comparison a bit tricky. But this doesn't mean they don't have anything in common. Both React and Angular follow a component-based approach. They both offer reusable modular elements designed to solve similar front-end challenges. So let's see what the main things that differ Angular from React are. And for this, let's go across various important areas in the development process. Type Angular is a structural TypeScript-based framework by Google for building dynamic web apps. React is a JSX-based library created by Meta and is used for building UI components. Flexibility 
Angular provides many built-in standard ready-to-use features, but it might feel restrictive if you want to do something out of the box. React, on the other hand, gives you total control and lets you do things your way, but sometimes it feels like too much. Development Angular has its own complex architecture when you can build large applications with tons of components. But learning Angular can feel challenging, thanks to its complex boilerplate code. React is quick to set up, with lots of cool extras on the menu thanks to its third-party add-ons. The virtual DOM features ensures your pages update very fast, and it's much easier to learn than Angular. However, some of the important React features aren't officially backed, so scaling might be challenging. Tools Angular has a powerful command line interface and the handy Agri extension. This makes debugging and component inspection an easy task. However, there is no official VS Code extension. React also has powerful CLI and the React developer tools. Also, there is an official VS Code extension. Performance Angular works fast thanks to its AOT compiler. It compiles your code before it even hits the browser. But React Guys is still faster thanks to its use of virtual DOM. Data Binding Angular uses both one- and two-ways data binding. It effortlessly manages changes in data impacting the view, and view modifications trigger changes in data. On the other hand, React prefers simplicity with its one-way binding approach. React developers usually organize smaller components inside larger parent components, making information flow smoothly. Ok, friends, in a nutshell, Angular offers powerful built-in features, offering unparalleled control over your code. It is well known and loved for its robust CLI, official state management solution and decent performance. On the other hand, it's difficult to learn. React stands for flexibility and simplicity in use. It's easier to learn, but doesn't have so many built-in features. And it takes a bit more code to add new functionality. However, its lightweight nature and excellent performance are great. React CLI third-party state management solutions and dev community make it a popular choice. Which is better, Angular or React? And finally, guys, this is the question I was asked several times by my subscribers. Daniel, which should I choose today, Angular or React? Well, guys, I think this question is a bit tricky, because both technologies offer solid options for crafting contemporary mobile and web applications, centered around component-based designs. And the choice comes down to your project's needs, the client requirements, your team skills and your programming approach. React takes a straightforward route, making UI components easy to reuse and avoids complicated HTML structuring. And I think this choice is ideal for those who like simplicity. On the other hand, Angular is a powerhouse that can handle a multitude of tasks in dependency. It is a bit more challenging to learn, but it offers comprehensive solutions without relying on external support. And if you are after a framework that comes packed with features and follows a specific structure, Angular is your choice. It's perfect for projects that need to expand and maintain their shape as they grow. That's why, guys, it's all about finding the right approach to your project. Career opportunities for Angular and React developers Friends, I'm happy to tell you that if you are considering a career as a front-end developer, getting proficient in Angular and React is definitely worth it. Thanks to high demand for experienced front-end developers, Angular and React coders are paid well enough. As Glassdoor reports, the average salary for Angular developer in the United States is around 96,000 per year. On the other hand, React developers earn about 88,000 per year on average. So, guys, as you see, there is a difference, but not a huge one. Alright, my fellow developers, that's all about Angular versus React and their differences. You can also boost your knowledge with Angular and React, and for this I left useful links in the description below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and till next time.